What's up, y'all? It's Nate Almighty, a.k.a. D Global Dusk and Ambassador, and I'm back. And let's try something different today. Let's talk about every single main character within the Power Universe. And I would like to discuss what I feel like are the best ways that these characters can be killed off to where it matters to the story. It'll bring a whole lot of suspense and emotion. And we are talking about every single main character within the Power Universe all of the favorites minus Brayden. And the reason why I don't have Brayden here is because Brayden just started killing people. He just really started digging really deep into the game. So I don't really have any idea of where they may take his character. He doesn't have enough enemies yet. But other than that, the people who we're gonna talk about is Tasha, Tommy, Drew, Monet, Diana, Davis McLean, Noma, Kane, Effie, and of course Tariq. And let's talk about the best possible ways to kill off these characters and who would be the perfect people to kill them. So let's start off with Tasha. Now, in my opinion, I feel like Tasha needs to be gone already. I know that, you know, the characters, I mean, I know that Natari Naughton, she has a good relationship with the writers and creators of the show, but I feel like in order to enhance Tariq's character and see what dark road it could take him, Tasha needs to be killed off. So my idea with the perfect way to kill Tasha off and the perfect character to kill Tasha off would be Cash, Lakeisha's son. And in the future, Cash gets revenge for his mother. Now for this to happen, Somehow, some way, the information would have to be revealed to him that Tasha did it. And here's where it's tricky, right? The, the easiest person to write in to reveal that type of information to Cash would be Tommy because Tommy knows. But Tommy is not the type of person to reveal this kind of incriminating information. So they would have to write it in to where somehow, some way, maybe Tommy says it to another person and that person revealed it to him or, or maybe Cash overheard Tommy saying this, but they would have to write it in that kind of way. You understand? And also, I also want to state that it would also, if they do that, they might as well continue on the power universe with the couple kids that have already been within the power universe. And another one of those kids I'm gonna speak on when it gets to that time. But I feel like that would be the perfect way to kill off Tasha. I don't wanna see anybody walk off into the sunset within these shows. I wanna see everybody either go to jail or die. Wanna know why? Because there are no all the way good people within the power universe. Everyone does they bad, everyone hurts people. Quite often these people kill people. There's nothing better for them to do than for to relate to real life, which is their actions catch up to them. But without further ado, let's get to Tommy next, right? And the perfect way for Tommy to die, in my opinion, and the perfect killer for him would be Eliza Marie, we all know is Proctor's daughter. She grows up with the mob. We know that Proctor's family has ties to the mob, some kind of street activity with them. The writers told us that for a reason. You know, they went the whole OG Power series without even, without even really revealing that kind of information until the end. But let's say Eliza Marie grows up with the mob. She's already entrenched in illegal activity in some sort of way. And even though during the send-off, she didn't seem like she hates Tommy, Tommy also said to her, if you happen to come look for me behind this, I understand. Basically, like, I'll be waiting for you. I know that if you come for me, I earned it, right? So what if, what if Eliza Marie growing up, she feels the pain. She starts feeling the pain of her father not being around. And she decides after being raised up by a whole bunch of people who know Tommy did it and they hate Tommy, 
She could end up hating Tommy as well, even though it didn't seem like she did in the beginning. And she could rip and run and, and find out where Tommy is for whatever reason. Or maybe Tommy feels guilt. Maybe Tommy doesn't have any children and and who knows. But I picture it this way. By the end of the four series, Tommy is at the top of the world. He ends up in California. He ends up being a very wealthy man. And that's when he then contemplates about whether he want to transition out the game. Or maybe instead of being like Ghost in that way, he just gets to a point where he's like, I've done it all. The only thing left for me to do is die. And maybe he starts getting sloppy on purpose. Maybe he starts putting himself in positions to be killed, but it doesn't go his way until eventually he runs into Elisa Marie. And when he sees Elisa Marie, he looks Elisa Marie right in the eye and he says, so you came to cancel Christmas on my ass, huh? So be it. In a way that's similar to when Tommy's father knew it was his time. And he put his chin up like a man. And he was like, well, come on, get with it then. Similar to that. But also, another equally as entertaining end. And it will probably be a more dramatic end. Would be if Junior... All this time, they're showing us from the beginning that Junior is looking for Tommy. Or if Junior isn't looking for Tommy yet, I believe that in season four, he will find out that Tommy killed Angela through Paz or maybe Sax, who knows. And then they spend the whole entire time within Ghost. Junior, he's paying attention to Tariq, maybe, maybe not be on Tariq's side, but his biggest agenda agenda in the back of his mind is, I'm going to find Tommy and I'm going to kill him. And then towards the end of Force, after we get much needed character development from Junior, because I would like to see Junior be someone who's trying to be on the straight and narrow, but his anger gets the best of him. And when it's all said and done, because they already are making connections between Chicago with Force and New York with Ghost, eventually Junior catches up to Tommy and kills him. After letting Tommy know exactly who he, who he is and why he's doing it, right? That would be fire. Now, y'all let me know in the comment section if you would rather the Elisa Marie situation or the junior situation. Now next, let's talk about Drew, okay? I feel like the writers have done the most they could do with Drew. Drew is officially annoying, you know, and I don't see, they regressed Drew so much over the last two seasons that I feel like they're gonna have new characters come into play. There's really no room for Drew. So what I see for Drew is Drew Makes too many mistakes in season four, trying to cover up his lies, his ambition and bad decisions force Kane to have to kill him for the greater good. Or somehow, some way, he forces Kane's hand. Maybe even tries to kill Kane first, and Kane gets him back, right? Or being that the Russians were so ass. <laughs> During season three, we never seen them be this soft and get wiped away. Maybe the Russians come back for revenge and they take care of Drew or the Castillos, right? Maybe it could happen that way. But I feel like those would be the best situations for Drew. But overall, I feel like the best person to kill Drew would be Kane because then the writers can write in the pain that it causes Kane. The fact that he can now relate to Tariq, right? The fact that him killing Drew would go against everything Lorenzo taught him. That would be very good for his character development. And we see what kind of person he ends up being on the other side of that, right? That choice. But next, let's get to Monet, right? Now, my first thought is, I don't feel like Monet is going to die. 
I feel like Monet may be one of two characters that I feel like get to ride off into the sunset. For one, because Monet is played by Mary J. Blige. And Mary J. Blige will probably be a part of the show until she don't want to be a part of the show anymore. But also, I just don't... A lot of parents... A lot of parents have gotten uh, uh, killed off or attempted to be killed. And the fact that they already had Monet as getting shot, but she didn't die, I don't feel like she's going to get killed. But if they were to kill her off, I feel like the best person to kill her, the best way for her to go out would be by the hands of Diana after Monet forgives Diana for attempting to kill her in the first place, which I know is going to happen. I'm not even going to say I feel like it's going to happen. Those of you listening to this video, watching this video, who think that Monet is going to kill Drew or Diana for what they did, she's not. She's going to see one way or another that her decisions led to what happened to her. She's not even going to want to be in the game no more. She's going to decide to let her kids do them, right? But I feel like the best way for her to die be by the hands of Diana for not falling back off of Diana after forgiving Diana, right? Now, next, let's talk about Davis McLean. Now, we know a bit of Davis' backstory. Going into season four, we'll learn more about, you know, the murder he caught. We're going to see him be depressed and drinking and being out of control due to, you know, his father. I mean, his brother offing himself and taking out sacks. We're going to deal with you know, the feds being on Davis' bumper. We're going to deal with Saks. Possibly have been recording Davis McLean on his Rolex. We're going to get to see who Davis McLean's wife is and his relationship with his wife, who will probably be cheating on him. And I feel like the best way to kill Davis McLean off would be a relative of the person who he killed before he became a lawyer. Right? Because... Power is all about consequences. And people end up dying because of decisions that they made previously. It's never random. Every death is earned. That would be, that's the only way I see Davis earning his death, right? Now, let's move on to Noma. I think it would be so fire on screen. To see Noma killed by Monet and Tasha at the same time. After squashing their beef, after the truth is revealed, and uniting in order to save and protect their children from Noma, who is going to be looking for Tasha to hurt Tasha on behalf of Tariq, and she's going to be threatening to kill Monet's kids and threatening to kill Monet too. They will unite. Y'all think Monet is going to be in savage mode? We are not going to see Monet in savage mode anymore. Unless she's defending herself or trying to protect her children from people like Noma, right? I think that would be perfect. That would be the perfect kill. Uh, I think if, you know, if Kane or Tariq or... Or Diana or Drew or somebody end up killing Noma. I think it will be trash. I think that's, it's almost predictable, right? Now, let's move on to Kane, right? The perfect death and killer for Kane would be if Kane was killed by Tariq after Tariq lets him slide one more time on behalf of Monet. After assuming we saw Monet and Tasha reunite and they help everyone get rid of Noma, right? And the way for Tariq to do it would be after Tariq tells him, don't ever think you're smarter than me. Do not make that mistake. Just like Tariq's own father told him in the past. And for Kane to, it would be even better if Tariq tells Kane that. They work with each other. They build at least a working, positive, productive relationship. And Cain slips up and allows his jealousy to get the best of him again. 
And he crosses Tariq, but this time Tariq sees it coming and catches it because he's never really going to trust Kane again. And that's when, you know, boom, he does Kane in and does what he has to do. I think that will be totally epic, right? Next, Effie. Let's talk about the perfect way for Effie to go and the perfect person to kill Effie. And that would be if Effie was betrayed and killed by a lover she trusts in a similar way that she betrayed Tariq. Or set up to go to prison for life by a lover she trusts. Or finally killed by Tariq after becoming a major player in the drug business and his fierce competitor, which I believe will happen. At some point, Tariq and Effie will be fierce competitors against each other in the streets. Right, even, right, right, and failing in her own attempts to kill him. I think that would be epic. But the number one way that I would like to see Effie go would be Lauren in a struggle fight. I want to see a full blown cat fight, Lauren, Effie, and it would even be better if. Lauren didn't even want to kill Effie, but had no choice because Effie was on her, right? Or she kills Effie by mistake. That would be dope. It would be poetic justice being that Effie had the opportunity to do Lauren in and botch the job, right? And last but not least, let's talk about the boy, Tariq St. Patrick, and what in my opinion would be the perfect death for him. Now, sidebar, if they write Ghost in as being alive, I feel like that would be a that would be an epic death to where you know Tariq rises to power in the drug game. He fully got his feet in the drug game, right? Even though I feel like ultimately they're gonna have Tariq transition out of the drug game and he's gonna learn his lesson a bit. But if he doesn't, and then he gets the money and power he wants. And then he tries to take Yaz in. And then Ghost comes in. And Ghost says, remember I told you, boy, never to think you're smarter than me? Well, you made that mistake. Pow! Right? And doesn't even let anyone know it was him. Tariq just ends up caught slipping, dead. And then uh, Yaz stays with Estelle until Estelle... Passes away and then Ghost has it written in that Yaz goes to a great family and she never gets exposed to the street life. But being that I don't think that's going to happen, the perfect death for Tariq, in my opinion, would be Elisa Marie. Kills Tariq in revenge of her father after getting Tommy as well. Tariq will never see that coming. That's my perfect way. But side B to that would be, or he becomes a bigger drug dealer than Ghost and is murdered by his own son. Now, y'all let me know what y'all think. What are some great deaths and the, the perfect people to kill all of the main characters in Ghost? Because I want to see all of them die. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.